Alright, so I had a big video planned to release on the 29th, but I didn't want to keep you all waiting, so I wanted to make at least a little video to the side while I'm still working on that big video. And if you want to see updates about it, be sure to go onto my Twitter. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you might have already known about the Nintendo Connects series where they made Connects Mario Kart and Connects Mario in general. If I remember correctly, the reason why we didn't have a LEGO version was because of that contract they had, but it looks like either that contract expired or they finally signed up with LEGO or something because now Nintendo and LEGO have both announced that they are making an entire series based on the Super Mario Brothers. And when I first saw the trailers for it, I thought it was not only awesome, but very interesting for a concept. The only thing we saw beforehand was this close-up image of the minifigure showing an LED light showing a question block. And nobody knew what that meant at the time, but now a new trailer just came out and it showed that it's going to be a whole new Mario game in and of itself. I'm not even trying to joke about that. We get to build these levels, we get to turn on this little Mario minifigure, and not only does it show animations of the mouth and eyes, but it also keeps track of the time, it shows how many coins you got, it also has the ability to detect question blocks, Goombas, and Piranha Plants, and whatever, and most surprisingly of all, it plays background music. Here we go! I don't know how they did it, but that's really amazing. Also, just a little detail from the trailer, but I really like how they made the block clicking noise play the Mario music. That's a really cute detail. And I love how they got Charles Martinet to record some new lines and say, Lego Mario time. Lego Mario time! Now all he needs to say is, let's a Lego and my life will be complete. So how about we dive into this a little bit deeper and see exactly what's going on here. The first thing I notice about the Mario figurine is that the top of it on the back of its head has a Bluetooth button. I have no idea what that button is supposed to be about, but I'm assuming either you could connect it to your phone or you could connect it to a speaker to play the audio better. If that's the case, I really commemorate LEGO for doing that. All right, this is off the topic of LEGO Mario, but I remember a long time ago, I had this idea of a LEGO brick that plays sound whenever you record into it. Little did I know that my young little mindset would subconsciously be stolen by Lego for a set of my dreams. You might also notice that there are some little stickers that are placed onto the things that Mario is being placed on, like the Guma, the Piranha Plant, and I'm assuming even the Question Block. I think those are the stickers that are needed in order for this game to even work properly. Do we also get to choose what kind of background music gets played? Like, do we get to pick whether we want to hear the overworld or the underworld, or maybe even an underwater section if that's even possible? And would we have to buy the Lego Mario figure separately, or is it going to come with every other set? Because at the moment, it's been proven that there are 13 different sets being made about this, one of them even being a blind bag, which is gonna be really fun to dig into. Also, do we have to go back to building the things piece by piece in the manual, or will we be able to build whatever we want, like what we did in LEGO Minecraft? Ugh, that's a lot of woos. And lastly, because this is technically a Mario game, would we be able to speedrun it? Are we gonna see another Pen and Coke video about how we can get to parallel universes and Lego sets? And how we could get to the goal by half a Lego piece or half a hand? Maybe we could see Andrew G speedrun this game, I don't know. Either way, I I'm really excited for this series. I know I haven't gotten into a lot of video games recently, and it's ironic because my name is Daniel T Gaming. But either way, I'm really happy that this set even exists to begin with. And I'm happy that we don't have to deal with unofficial Lego sets of Nintendo stuff. But I want to hear what you think. What are your thoughts on the new LEGO sets? What are your thoughts on Nintendo collaborating with LEGO? Tell me in the comments. And if you have any suggestions for what you want me to talk about next, and if you have any fan art that you want to submit to me, you can submit them all via Twitter, Discord, or in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy this video, hit the like button, and if you're new, the subscribe button, and the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a video. And if any of you want to support me even further, you could go over to my Ko-fi, Teespring, or YouTube membership page. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.